season before. The Frank Mir that enters the octagon at UFC 107 may look different than any Frank Mir we've seen before. Sorry, it's good. Brock, his strength, his power was just a little bit too much for him. He needs to put on some size, put on some mass in order to compete with Brock and to get back in there and get his revenge against Brock. In the past, when I had experimented with weight training, it always had been more like a bodybuilder. And so I never saw the carryover. I would train and lift weights, and the first two or three weeks, I'd start to look good. And you're like, oh, wow, you know, hey. But then your arms get heavy, and you fill up with blood, and, and you seem like you get tired quicker. I just didn't know how to do it properly, and the people I'd worked with in the past didn't know how to do it properly. So that's when I found Mark Philippi. Let me put another plate on there, so you don't look like a sissy. Yes, yeah, so, so, thank you, Coach. You read my mind. My philosophy is to get stronger, you have to lift some weight. You have to put a bar on your back. You can't lift nice-looking chrome weights real light for a lot of reps and get the same effect. There it is. Good. Racker here. Come on. Let's go. He's been training heavy. Squats, back. cleans, deadlifts. We've been training that for about 12 weeks now, maybe. And I am stronger and faster than I've ever been. Big ball. Come on. Come on. Come on. Drive. Keep going. And he's put on, I'd say, 20 to 25 pounds. I'm sparring and picking people up and throwing them and I'm not getting fatigued like I used to. I can practice 40 shots in a row at 60% max and I can have a conversation. I explained it like this. It's like legs on a chair. You have strength, conditioning, speed, and technique. As I grind your face, you, I can give you too much room to go to your knees, go to your knees. If you take one of the legs away entirely, the whole chair falls over. The second leg that Frank's bolstering is his striking. 